Coming into this NBA season, people were already writing off the Detroit Pistons as a team that wasn't going to win a lot of games, and a roster with some young pieces but still a lot of question marks. Well, the Pistons may not have entered the season with high expectations, but second-year big man Jalen Duran has something to say about that. The 6'10", 250-pound center is still just 19 years old, but a few games into the season and he already looks like a player who is taking a massive leap and looking like one of the best young big men in the entire NBA. I've even heard some Pistons fans calling him the next Ben Wallace. I can see that, but I think he has a lot of Bam Adebayo in his game too. How do you like these numbers so far? 18 points, 15.3 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2.7 blocks per game. And how's this for efficiency? 80% shooting. Lots to talk about in today's video, so be sure you click that thumbs up button to help support the channel, and hit subscribe too. Coming at you with some of the freshest NBA content that you're going to find on YouTube. And these videos are coming out several times a week. The most important conversation around Jalen Duran isn't just his stat line, but it's also how his continued growth is going to help the Pistons and his overall fit with their other core pieces, particularly Cade Cunningham. In the early going of the season, chemistry between Cade and Duran seems apparent, with Cunningham taking far more ownership of his presence in the paint, which collapses defenses and allows Duran open pathways to the basket. Duran's aggressiveness and ability to put pressure on the rim has resulted in 18 dunks so far this season. That's six per game. And we can expect opposing teams to adjust to Duran over the course of the year and for his scoring and 80% shooting from the field to decrease. But Duran is also showing how he can impact the game on multiple levels. If he doesn't get as many offensive opportunities, he is also capable of playing the role of connector. He can set hard screens and he pressures the defense all throughout the game. Even if that doesn't lead to shots for him, the opposing defense will have to follow him around, essentially shrinking the floor and allowing Cunningham or somebody like Jaden Ivey to attack single coverage. When asked about playing with Cade Cunningham, Duran said, our IQs, they just match. He's got a high IQ, I've got a high IQ, and I know what type of player Cade is. I feel like when he has the ball in his hands, he's going to make something happen. So I try to get him the ball in spots where he can be effective. And I really take a lot of pride in that. I take a lot of pride in getting our guards open on screens and just making sure the game is easier for them because I know they can make the right plays. Yeah, I love how Duran does the dirty work and is such a consummate professional and teammate. He's also far more effective defensively this year and with his rebounding than he was last season. While he was a quality rebounder last year, he has taken another leap in that area. Last season as a rookie, Duran would often find himself out of position and struggling with spotting patterns and identifying angles, but this year, he looks smarter in reading where the ball is going and acting accordingly, while making himself a more influential presence on that side of the court. So whether that sticks for the full season remains to be seen, but at the very least, he's showing that he's got the capability of how to read an offense, which gives the coaching staff a good jumping off point to work with him. James Wiseman, take notes. But seriously, with Durant at 6'10", 250 pounds, and a 7'5 wingspan, he's always dominated players physically. But now he's combining that raw physical talent with a greater understanding of the league and how he fits in it. The game has slowed down for him, and that's big for a guy who's still only 19 years old. He's playing with a high level of energy, a nonstop motor, and a greater degree of confidence and understanding of what he needs to do game in and game out. So yeah, I know it's early, but he has been one of the best bigs in the NBA so far. And though the NBA has shifted more toward big men who can play multiple positions and who can stretch the floor, Duran is more of a throwback who can excel with his size and strength in the post. Again, very similar to Bam Adebayo. With Duran's IQ and defensive tools, he is looking like another solid addition to the Pistons and a legit draft steal from a year ago. With Cade Cunningham, Jalen Duran, and the early takeaways with what I'm seeing from Asar Thompson, ugh, this guy, he's worth another video all by himself. 
these dudes are primed for some big things in the coming years for Detroit basketball. Pistons fans, let me hear from you in the comments. How excited are you guys for the team this year? And what do you expect from Jalen Duran for the rest of the year? Tell me all about it in the comments down below. Since you've watched this far, be sure to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel as well. As I mentioned, I have fresh NBA content coming out several times a week about anything and everything basketball. If you enjoyed this video, click the boxes on the screen for more NBA content. Check it out. Let me know what you think. I'll catch you next time on the Half Court Report. Have a great day.